hello and welcome again and uh, this time we're going to build the landing gear um, and this is going to be a custom landing gear but based off um, of the uh, Rotobit series we need six 10 by 100 millimeter carbon tubes so 10, 10 centimeters long um, so we need six of these and we need six of the 10 millimeter uh, 15 centimeter long carbon fiber tubes, we need six of those as well and then we need just one 20 centimeter or 200 millimeter long carbon fiber tube one centimeter again it's in the Rotobit series so you can just go ahead and look for the 100 millimeter the 150 and the 200 millimeter and besides that we're going to use four of these 60 degree um, uh, adapters or mount or whatever you call them and we're going to use 10 of the Rotobit T connectors and four of these um, these roto pads I believe they're called just pads for the landing gear or the, the uh, carbon tubes to stand on and this will be an integrated camera mount as well for um, for uh, cameras pointing downwards for mapping uh, purposes, for example. And then we're going to use some uh, two and a half millimeter by 20 millimeter um, screws or bolts. This is actually a bolt and some um, nuts that come with that two and a half millimeter um, lock nuts, I believe, also from the Hobby King Rotor series. Rotor bits series. Um, and first off, you want to peel off every label on every carbon fiber tube. Okay, so what you want to do here is you're going to take um, the 200 millimeter, the 20 centimeter long carbon fiber tube here, and you're going to take a T connector here and put it on both ends. Once you've done that, you you're going to to drill these holes out with a two and a half millimeter um, drill. And then we're going to um, take two 150 millimeter um, carbon fiber tubes. We're going to press those through on the ends here. And we're going to place them in the middle. So once you've centered these, you want to go ahead and drill um, these two holes on both sides out as well. Now you'd want to go ahead and mount um, one of the ends here with a uh, a 20 millimeter bolt. We're going to need um, two other T connectors. So you're going to push this all the way in over there and push this all the way in over here. Well, not all the way over in over here, but push it in. And then you're going to mount um, this um, connector over here. So just screw this in now. Now you'd want to go ahead and move these to the uh, extremes as far as these can go and just put, go ahead and put a screw in uh, one of these two holes right here. Um, we're not going, you're not going to mount the bolt just so it can actually hold while we're drilling because we're going to drill these four holes out on both sides. Just simply go ahead and mount the bolt uh, for this. So now if we're going to go ahead and take two of these um, 10 centimeter um, carbon fiber tubes here and we're going to place them inside um, this tube right here and just take a knife and cut at the edge here just make a mark go ahead and do that on two so we've got two with uh, marks on it at the exact same spot um, and then we're going to take a dremel and uh, cut that um, cut that piece out so I'd recommend just taking some masking tape um, and just um, put it into this um, to this to this connector here, this uh, T connector, T adapter, and mark it up with just a pencil. Um, because when we're going to cut it, we're going to cut it um, with the masking tape on, so it doesn't splinter anywhere. So when you've cut these to piece. Um, when you've cut that 2.5 or 2.6 centimeters off, you're going to take the rough edge, the, the edge where you um, saw it off, sew it off, and uh, put that that end in 
to these T connectors here. You put that all the way in and then drill out this hole and mount the uh, screws. So you want to go ahead and take um, four of the 10 centimeter long carbon fiber tubes and six of the T connectors. You put this 10 centimeter tube in the middle right there and you're going to take one that's 90 degree of that and you'd want to um, take another one on the other side just like that and you'd want to go ahead and drill these two holes and these two holes and this hole and this hole you want to go ahead and drill that out on both sides so one do um, mounted those on both sides right here um, I recommend just uh, cutting these corners off right here so just as I've done over here so it's it's perfectly flat um, right here I recommend just doing that to all the four corners um, to save weight um, and space recommend wear both gloves and safety glasses and um, a mask because this carbon fiber just gets everywhere and it's not very healthy. So now I've cut this off and just throw this in the trash. You want to go ahead and take a file like this and just file the corners so it gets, it gets flat and um, all that carbon fiber, excess carbon fiber in these corners just get really smooth just like that so what you end up with is basically something that looks like this and uh, looks like it has 90 degree adapters instead of uh, T connector adapters which I think Hobby King if you're watching you should really make 90 degree adapters and not only T adapters and do this for the other one as well cut both corners off so now you have two of these um, connectors that made these two you want to go ahead and take your adapter from uh, your, your your landing gear from earlier um, and you'd want to go ahead and just mount one at, at a time so you'd want to go ahead and do like this and drill holes right here and the other side and you're going to take these two and take two um, 10 centimeter um, carbon fiber tube and mount them inside here and drill holes through there. So you're going to mount two at the same time. That's much easier. And then mount it like that and drill holes and um, mount screws. As you've now done that, you want to, um, I forgot to say this in the beginning, but you'd want to order a, um, this is a uh, battery plate, I believe it is, from the Turnigy, um H.A.L, the Heavy Area Lift Quadcopter. Um, you can get this as a spare part or accessory, I don't really know. But a battery part, I'll, I'll have the link in the description. Um, but this one, because that fits perfectly, between the brackets here um, that we made. So we want to not hard mount it, but um, use these vibration dampening balls. Whichever um, size that you used or you bought um, of, of this um, inner piece right here, that's the size hole you want to drill. So this is five millimeters. I want to go ahead and mount that in a, drill a five millimeter hole. And you don't want to get nine millimeters because remember this is only um, this one this pillar here is only um, ten uh, millimeters wide. So if you want to drill a nine millimeter hole, you're probably going to break it. So five millimeter, I would say, is the um, biggest hole you want to drill. So uh, be careful with that. So just go ahead and mount the. Um, vibration balls, vibration dampening balls here in the uh, in the frame um, but not 
do not mount this yet. If you're gonna mount a camera like I do, like a Canon or digital camera of some sort, um, we want to cut out um, a circle of some sort for the lens when that comes out. So when you've um, drilled the hole uh, equivalent to your camera lens, just go ahead and mount this um, plate on the vibration dampers so you have a, a vibration free platform for your camera. So we want to go ahead and mount this on um, the top uh, part of this mount. So you want to um, push these completely in and just mount um, a bolt and not through here. Alright, we have now come to the landing struts um, themselves. So uh, just go ahead and drill out um, these holes on all of them, um, on all the four. Alright, then um, just go ahead and mount these with uh, nuts and bolts and mount the 60 degree angles here on the, um, the, the spar here by drilling out this hole and mounting um, nuts and bolts um, and you don't want to um, screw bolts on this one these T connectors this one and this one um, just yet because that's where we're going to mount it on the frame and we're going to mount the uh, landing gear now so put the landing gear into these uh, all of them and mount them with screws because we've already drilled out that hole so there we have it, um, a pretty sturdy landing gear. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, cut these, um, cut these off um, to save a bit of weight because it is quite a heavy yet very sturdy and solid landing gear. So I'm just gonna cut these ends off. Um, you don't have to do that, but I'm just gonna do that um, to save weight and to make it a bit more neat. Thank you for watching. Um, the next video we will be mounting both the Pixhawk and the landing gear, um, so uh, go ahead and subscribe um, for further videos and uh, I'll see you later, so uh, bye!